Hey guys and welcome to my shower. I am not gonna take a shower haha <laughs> because uh, as you can tell in the video I'm gonna be showing you guys how I've been taking care of my skin because as you guys know about two, three days to five days ago I had like really massively break out here and I'm starting to do it again and that's because I like to pick my face yay so because I like to do that I get all this acne scarring here and acne scarring here and here and then like the next day and a half it was like you know so I'm gonna be showing you guys the products that I've been using I will never ever have beautiful skin like I love that I eat but that is a goal so I just need to have my nails done so I don't have to pick my face and usually when I'm nervous I pick my face or when I'm playing game I pick my face like there's like little details that I do that I start picking my face and the first thing I always do touch is my face so um yes so for starters I go ahead and just wash my face what I recommend is one having a good cleanser now I cleans I cleanse my face with an antibacterial soap because um, when I used to work, I would work with a lot of dust, so it would land on your face, and I just, you know, it would be a no-no. So then I would use an antibacterial face to, like, wash my hands, and then obviously to wash my face. So this is basically what my skincare is. These are my mud mask. I have my acne cleanse wash, my exfoliators, and then down here, you know, other miscellaneous things. With this one right over here, this is actually one of my favorite cleanser. This is actually one of the cleansers that I'm going to wash my face with. But before I do wash my face with, I, you guys, it's so embarrassing, but it is what it is. I go ahead and wash my face with Bath & Body Works. Now, let me just say, this is the Gentle Gel Hand Soap with Essential Oils. But I use antibacterial one because that's my favorite one. So I go ahead and I wash my hands first, obviously. So once I wash my hands, you know, you have 20 seconds. I go ahead with the antibacterial one and then I go ahead and do it on my face. This is not no Neutrogena, Beauty, whatever, you know, because this is Jules Juliet's version of it. Once we have that, we're going to go ahead and use the rice one. This is a, the brightening scrub. So we're going to go ahead and just mix it with our and just do this. Now we're gonna go ahead and wash it off. Not a lot, just I kind of still wanted to have some wetness going on because the next thing I'm gonna use is this baby right over here. This is this is the holy grail of part needed. So this one is an exfoliate. It's not an exfoliate. It's a mud cleanser, half wet, half not that much wet. Because I know that it's a mud exfoliate, a mud cleanser. So it cleanses, but it also it's like a mud mask put together. So you don't need a lot and be careful with your eye area because it will definitely be like <laughs> okay now that we have this going on we're gonna go ahead and wash our face i do feel like exfoliation is something very important when it comes to your skin because it does take off all the dead skin cells that you do have okay so moving on to the next part that's actually very important to me and it is treatment of toner now after that i do use a moisturizer it honestly depends on you what moisturizer you want to use but this is actually a very important step that I feel like it's a must after you cleanse your face. It's toner. The Pixi one, I don't know what's up with this one, but this one's amazing when it comes with your breakouts. Then I would also get this one right over here, which is from Mario Badescu. This one is the Glycerin Acid Toner. I also use this one right over here, which is the Mario Badescu. It's the Witch Hazel with Rose Water. They have a lavender one too, which I have, which I don't know where it went, but... What I do is that I went to the Daiso and I bought this do-it-yourself mask, which honestly, I really do freaking love about it. So at the Daiso, it's a Japanese Daiso, or you can just buy these online. It's like little, um, I don't even know, it's like a little tab looking like. Basically, you open it up. I don't like the fact that it's a lot of plastic, but they should like create their own mask made out of cloth, maybe. I don't know. So you open it up. That was a bad ASMR. And you start just prepping whatever you want in it. So I do mix mix a lot of stuff. So I go ahead and I start off with mixing up with my Pixie. 
I go ahead and just drop a few and what it does it expands you see that it's it's like expanding so I go ahead and use that one then I use the witch hazel one because I do have acne you can even use a tea tree oil one and you just go ahead and pour and it just starts getting bigger and bigger basically it's absorbing all the liquids that you are applying onto it and you're gonna apply this on the sheet mask and then of course I use the blue one because this is my favorite one All right, now you're gonna be looking scary until like five to like 10 minutes. I usually leave it on until I feel that it dry from the bottom. Alrighty guys, so the mask is completely done with. It's a little bit dry, I was going ahead and do some stuff. So this is where we're at. We're gonna go ahead and put on some moisturizing now because of the toner. Our skin looks pretty freaking good. I'm going to go ahead and moisturize my face with this one. This one's Truly Organics. It's the Glass Skin Face Serum. It's a little bit pricey, but I do really love it. It's very lightweight, and it doesn't kick up your face, so I absolutely love it. Go ahead and just apply it. Once you're done applying your moisturizer, you go ahead and prime your face, do your makeup, let your skin breathe. Whatever you want to do, it's up to you, honestly. But you're all set, you guys, and this will definitely help you with one minimizing your pores and getting rid of all like the nasty acne scarring that you have and just i mean it's not going to diminish and take off the coloring that's what another cream would do or another products would do but this is a way that i got rid of my acne like being so burst out it has completely diminished and you have like a smooth face going on so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and go ahead let me know if you guys tried out any of the products down below but definitely you guys need those diy your own face masks they are really inexpensive you buy them probably like 24 for like three dollars at the daiso maybe even less depending on which place you go to daiso but go ahead and grab yourself that mud cleanser from pixie as well as that skin fruit one it is really freaking good as well as a pixie toner i love it and the mario but skew all these products are literally under i want to say 20 bucks i'm gonna put everything down below so you guys go ahead and just click on the links and just shop whatever you guys want and i'll see you guys in the next video you guys we're so close to thousand subscribers and don't forget to share this video and i hope you guys are taking care of your skin especially during this quarantine i like picking my skin like i said earlier which is something bad but look at this we just got to get rid of the marks now. I'll see you guys in the next video.